Creating a software project can be really intimidating. It can seem like such a large task when you're already having trouble following YouTube tutorials. Yet you hear so many developers saying, build something, it's the best way to learn. Even I say it when people come to me and ask, how do I get started learning to program? This is because finding a project that interests you helps you stay focused while preserving and cementing the concepts you've already learned. But how are newcomers supposed to create projects if they don't know where to start? What exactly don't you get? It, it turns from a building into a robot, right? Precisely. Well, today I'll show you the three key steps developers use when starting projects. These key steps are used from small to large companies, and once you get these key points down, you won't need tutorials to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build an application. Instead, you'll learn how to use online resources like Stack Overflow to solve your problems. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button. The first step when starting a new project is to define it. As a software developer, you need to ask yourself, what is the project, and which features are nice to have? The answer to these questions should be simple and sweet. By doing this, we can help divide the work you need to do so it feels less intimidating. Let's say we're doing a to-do list app. First, we'll want this application to be accessible on the web, which means we'll need to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It should also allow users to create tasks and then remove them from the list. What would be nice is if users could have shortcuts for creating tasks and maybe even drag and drop for reordering the lists. The next step is the easiest, and it can be used in future projects, and that is to create a workflow. You can use Triolo or GitHub, which are free tools to help you manage projects, and they let you create something called a Kanban board. We'll take a look at GitHub's project management to show you how you can use this tool. First, you'll need to create a new repository on GitHub, then head over to the Projects tab. We'll create a new project, and I'll divide everything up into four columns. In each of these four columns, we can add cards. As we work on the cards, we can move them into doing, and once completed, into done. Now we have our workflow set up, and we can get on to the last step. The key to building your own project is by breaking it down into smaller and less intimidating components. These smaller components are what becomes our card in to do. Let's continue using the to-do app example to make our component cards. In GitHub, we can create two types of cards. The first is a note, and it generally serves as a task reminder or adds information related to the project. We can also create issues, which provide more features such as labels, assignments, and milestones. I'll break our project down into smaller issues based on what we talked about. The biggest benefit of the cards is that they simplify what we have to do. But we are not done yet. Once we have the high-level cards, we can break these components down again into smaller tasks. In GitHub, we can create checklists by using Markdown. And you'll notice that the tasks we create will show up in our project board, showing us the progress. I've also added some nice labels so we know which tasks to prioritize. The nice features we identified earlier don't really need to be implemented until the end. Then once we have done all the items in our list, we can move the card into the done column and get cracking on the next one. You can also leave comments on these issues as you work through them. This way, you can pick up where you left off and even come back to them for reference. The key is to clearly define the project, set up your workflow, and then break the project down into smaller components that all build towards creating the larger project. Each time you complete a new project, you'll learn so much for your next one. I hope you found this video interesting. Don't forget to hit that like button. I also have a growing community over on Discord if you'd like to check it out. Hope to see you in the next one.